Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire 3 laptop. This model it comes with an AMD Ryzen 3. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can do your own service or repaste the CPU. If your laptop is running hot or it's just crashing because of the overheating, or if you feel like it's not actually sucking any air or it's blowing air from the back, this video is for you. In order to get it started, you need a few tools. The first tool is iFixit tool set. This is the screwdriver set and these sets are really good because they will last you a long time it's not like unlike the other set that they sell on the market from this set we're going to be using phillips number zero actually i'm not promoting them or anything like that so this is not a promotional video i just literally like this tool set they're really nice and for the opening tool you can get the extension for this set and they actually provide you i'll leave the link in the description you can get this one they come with it opening tools and all the anti-static discharging cables but if you don't want to get the extension at least get the opening tool the screwdriver set for the opening tool i like to use my handy guitar pick this is a, just like a metallic guitar pick i use this one rather than using the one that they include in the package and I use a tiny magnet with, beside my screw to just remove the screws easier. So what we're going to do here, we're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover of the laptop. They are in total of 10 screws and they're all the same size, height. So go ahead and remove. Don't worry about mismatching these screws. And again, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for giving likes and subscribing, supporting these channels. I only see a little bit of like a one percent of my viewers subscribe to my channel it would be really nice and uh, grateful if you guys could subscribe and click that thumbs up button if this video helped you guys out and that way i can take requests and answer your questions and help you guys out once you remove all the screws at the bottom cover what you want to do you want to grab the guitar pick and you want to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover just about two millimeters just like that and what you want to do you just want to twist it you want to hit those clicks those are the clips are getting loose do this all in front and work your way to the side all the way to the corner back to the right side and once you did the right and the front and the left side you want to do the back where the by the hinges and then the top cover should come out pretty easy all right once you remove the top cover you're gonna see the heat sink and the fan and the battery everything is right in front of you before we do anything for repasting you need to remove the battery or at least disconnect the battery the two screws holding the battery in place so remove these two screws one on each side of the battery all right now you can lift up the battery bring it down and then pull the cable for the power jack for the battery jack once we have the battery disconnected you don't need to disconnect the cmos battery this is the bios battery so do not disconnect this one now if your fan is really dirty you can remove the fan by removing two screws there's one on each side one right here all right on the top and the fan should come out pretty easy and the jack is right here pull back the jack uh, you can grab an old toothbrush or new toothbrush and just clean it with an air can or air compressor just remove clean the fan now to remove the heat sink heat pipe so you might have another two screws right here holding a plate for the gpu but this one doesn't include a GPU, only includes a CPU. So go ahead and remove these three screws. But if yours includes a GPU, there should be two screws holding on your side, on this end. 
remove all the exclamed screws there or here and then lift up the heatsink and you're gonna see the old thermal paste on both ends what you need is a working towel and you need an alcohol this is 98% 95% alcohol I'll leave the link in the description don't use any uh, alcohol with 70% it might be it must be over 90 all right and now we're gonna just rub off the heat thing the old thermal paste if you have another plate like this over here for the GPU go ahead and clean that one too so clean the heat sink nicely the dock the all the airflow that goes through here make sure it's nice and clean now we're gonna clean the CPU as long as you clean the crystal die on the CPU you find you don't need to go ahead and clean up clean up all the capacitors or everything around it as long as you clean the die you find once you clean the CPU and the GPU, if you, in case you have it, you want to apply the, your favorite uh, thermal paste. I use Arctic MX4, or you can use a thermal uh, Grizzly thermal paste. These are really high brand. These are really nice too, depending on the client or depending on your laptop. I use the MX4 on this one. So one drop right in the middle, right there. Let me see if you can see. Just like that. This thermal, pa this thermal paste is not conductive, so don't worry about uh, making a short circuit or anything like that. So what you want to do, you want to bring down the heat sink over. Once you put the heat sink down, do not lift it up again. Otherwise, you're going to create an air bubbles. Make sure you leave it there. There's a numbers on the heat sink. It says one, two, three. So go in the same direction of the numbers. With the other hand, you can see I'm, I'm pushing down on the heatsink so the heatsink doesn't lift up as I put number one in. Once I put number two, it should be fine. There we go. One, we have that one in there, so grab the fan. After you clean it, bring it over the jack and just push it right inside the jack right there. Put the two screws that you removed. All right, grab the battery. Before you putting it in, in place, first plug in the cable. So align the jack right there and then push it towards the inner jack right there. Place the battery right on top. Align it, make sure these screw holes match. Put the two screws. All right, and this tape is useless, but just leave it there. And the last thing would be to grab in the top cover. Uh, this tape right here is to keep this cable right in between them so it doesn't keep coming on top. But I don't put them because it, there's no stickiness to it. It just can go right to the fan. Just make sure this cable is right, sitting right in between them. It's not sitting over. So it's not a big deal. So bring the top cover or the bottom cover and just put it on top and push down the corners. Make sure you hear those clicks. Press the bottom side, the front end. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom screws, all the tiny screws and start from one corner and put all of them in. And this is how you service and clean and repaste your Acer Aspire 3 laptops. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.